Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee and I'm so happy that you stopped in today. It is canning day for me. Um, someone came into work and gave me one, two, three, six zucchini about this size. So they're pretty big. And usually when I saute them, I use the littler ones. So I was looking for ideas what to do. And I already have some of the pineapple, mock pineapple zucchini. I thought about doing some cubes of that, but everyone tells me that zucchini relish is so good. And I make pickle relish that I love. It's Mrs. Wages. So I, I looked in all the ball books and I found in this book, it's zesty zucchini relish. And I need 12 cups of chopped zucchini. So we'll see how, I might have a half a batch. We'll see. I'm going to do the zucchini first and then I will know because it also has onion, red pepper, bell pepper, canning salt, sugar, vinegar, nut, turmeric, which relish a lot of times and, and bread and butter pickles have turmeric. It has one chili pepper. I'm going to use a jalapeno and horseradish. My pickled beet recipe has horseradish in it and then pickle crisp. So I think it sounds like something good, um, different than the regular sweet relish. So that's what I'm doing today. I am making zesty zucchini relish. So let me bring you down. I just closed the page. Let me bring you down while I get everything prepped. This has to sit overnight. You get all the vegetables and you salt it and it has to sit for at least 12 hours. So this is another one of those two day type things, which I like, it makes it not so crazy on one day. So I'm gonna get everything prepped, get it in the fridge for overnight, and I will can it tomorrow afternoon. And it, that'll be really fast. Prepping the zucchini and everything is the longest part. So I started, I cut the ends off the zucchini. You wanna cut the stem end and the blossom end off and I don't want these seeds in it so I have a garbage bowl here and I'm going to take a spoon and let me see how I can get you closer. I'm going to take a spoon and just scrape out those seeds. That's how come I made um, relish last year is I had some cucumbers given to me that had gotten too big for pickles and I had a Mrs. Wages sweet pickle relish packet so that came like in an assortment so I thought well I might as well try it who knew we would like it so much oh it's so much better than what you buy in the store Don't peel these, just wash them off really good. And we're just gonna scrape all that seeds out from the middle. And the spoon works really good for that, I find. I think I've seen people use like a melon baller before. If you have any tips on what you use, let me know. The recipe says it makes five pints and I do mine in half pints. That works best for us. It takes us too long to go through a pint. I gotta cut the other ones in half. And I'll bring you back when it becomes chopping time. And I'll show you how I'm gonna get it done quick. I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but let me show you what I learned. <laughs> if I put this in here, I end up with too big of dices. So I need to cut in half and then I get a nice small dice. And I have four cups done already, and I need 12 cups. There, 
therapeutic. You know, actually, to me, canning is relaxing and creative and I was throwing some scraps in with the good stuff. Luckily, it was big chunks. Ugh. Let's see. I put four cups in there. I need a little more to get to four cups. Okay, now we're at the four cups. So I only have to do that one more time. So I had more zucchini than what I thought. That's cool. And if I had to sit there chopping these all by hand, I would still be at the beginning. Oh, there's Jim. Mowing, I did that again. I need one of you here to yell at me when I go to do that to throw my garbage in the good bowl instead of the garbage bowl. So I'm going to keep doing this till the end and I will just bring you back when it's on to the next veggie. I have all the zucchini over there and I did have enough for, for 12 cups so I'm pretty excited. Now we need to chop up two red pepper, one green pepper, and four cups of onions. I'm going to wait to do the onions last. Get the peppers done first. And I'm going to use the chopper again, and I'm going to use the same size because I want everything diced the same size. And I'll use it for the onions too, and for the jalapeno. This works really nice for relishes because everything's the same size. Red peppers diced up. Add them into the big bowl, which hopefully is big enough. One green pepper. There we go. Onions peeled and kind of sliced up. So they will be the same size dice. This makes fast work of doing onions. Oh, this one might be a little too thick there. Four cups into the big bowl. So the last thing is one jalapeno. I'm gonna go get some gloves. One jalapeno. I always wear gloves when I'm doing any hot peppers. With my luck, I would touch my eye. And chop a magic. Oh gosh, what was what was that commercial when we were when I was when I was young anyway, where they chopped everything, something matic. <laughs> and then Saturday Night Live did comedy routines based on it. Oh gosh. There we go. So, let me bring this over. We'll put these peppers in. So it needs a third a cup of pickling or canning salt. 
and that's going to bring all the moisture out and tomorrow we will drain it third a cup pickling salt stir this in And then I will cover it up and put it in the fridge overnight and bring you back tomorrow when I take it out and we drain it and make the brine and process. I'll bring you back tomorrow. Day two of zesty zucchini relish. I have the recipe out. I thought I just had to make the brine and heat it up, but actually I have to cook it for 45 minutes. Here is the mixture the next day. And I don't know if I can show you, but there is a lot of moisture, water. Let's see. So I am going to put this in the colander rinse it with some cool water because it's real salty right now we don't want it to be salty relish and gently press down it says um, to squeeze out any excess liquid so i'm going to do that right now here it is rinsed drained and i was letting any after i pressed it i put it in the original bowl to let any extra out So let's see if it will fit in this pan with enough room. I don't know. This pan is bigger than what it looks. Otherwise, I get my monster pan out. And it's a monster. Well, this smells nice and fresh. I'm glad I figured out a way to um, preserve some of that zucchini. Oh yeah, there's this is, there's there's plenty of room. The first ingredient is two and a half cups of sugar. After church, we had a crowded church service, which was awesome. It was the day we honored our high school seniors. It was a baby dedication day, and there was like five that got dedicated. Two cups, and now a half. And then we had baptisms, and there was teens and young kids that got baptized. cup is always there we go two and a half cups let's get rid of the big sugar canister next is two and a half cups of white vinegar FYI, when you can with vinegar, you want to make sure it's 5% acidity. One cup. Two cups. And then half. There we go. Now we add all the nummy stuff. Let's stir this. Now 
Next ingredient is one tablespoon of ground turmeric. This will give it its color. The turmeric's really good for you too. One tablespoon of nutmeg. That's a lot. That surprises me. One tablespoon of nutmeg. I'm going to follow the recipe. You can always adjust dry spices. So if I make this this time and don't like that flavor, I can take it out, reduce it. I thought it needed mustard seed, but that was a different recipe I was looking at. But I will need that for canning season. Okay, now here's going to be part of the zest. Four tablespoons of horseradish. So that means just plain horseradish. It says prepared horseradish. So that means where it's ground up and you know it's like in a liquid, not in mayonnaise. So one, two, three, I get this locally from a church bazaar. Let me stir this up. So I am going to put this on the burner and heat it up and I will bring you back here it is ready to jar up. Let's get started. We need a half inch headspace on this. So half inch is right there, but it's also on my debubbler, half inch. So I use my debubbler a lot. When you put the relish in the jars, you want to get liquid too. You don't want it to, don't use a slotted spoon and just put solids in here. That was a hair, but it's a scratch. Oop, I did too much. It says it makes about five pints, so that would be ten half pints, but I'm not going to do all half pints. It has the yellow, I'm trying to see if you can see the color real well with this lighting. It has the yellow color though from the turmeric and half inch touches. I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of pickle crisp. I usually put that on the bottom. Wipe that rim. Well, let's make sure there's no air pockets. Check the headspace. It doesn't need to have any more added. Wipe the rim. Get one lid out. finger tight. Don't put it on too tight. You don't want it to... Um, you want the, the air to be able to evacuate. So it looks pretty in the jar. I'm going to set it on my steam canner. 
I like my steam canner because it's just, it's not as much water. It's easier for me to handle. And you can use it for anything that would be water bath canned up to 40 minutes. Pickle crisp in. Glad I found something interesting to use those zucchini for. Half inch. And I still have some left that I can make a loaf of banana, 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 zucchini bread. Maybe I'll do chocolate chip there. I usually always have a load of towels after canning, it seems. So here they all are. This is the steam canner bottom um, for the kind I have. Make sure you follow whatever your directions are. I like using the steam canner for things like this because it's not as bulky and it just seems easier to manage for me. So what we do now is we put this lid back on. Make sure these are all in the right distance and the lid fits on like that. I'm going to turn it so that it's, it says fruit saver here and let me show you. Well that didn't work. Mine has a gauge on top and I tested it and the second line here in the, within the green is where I want the red line to get to. So I'm gonna turn the heat up so that it can start building. And when it hits that point, I will put the timer on. Four, and I'm double checking, 15 minutes. So when it reaches that point, I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. We are up to the point. So I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. Here are the finished jars. And they did all seal. And I think they look so pretty. So one, two, three pints and, and six half pints. So that is plenty. So if you're looking for a way to use up zucchini this summer, cause you know how it is when the zucchini co starts coming in, try this relish. So thank you for watching. And if you wanna see more videos on canning, subscribe to my channel. And if you like this one or comment, it really helps. And let me know what else you'd like to see me can. See you next time at Pike Creek Farm.